This is the most dangerous thing human beings have invented. I have no doubt. This will end very badly. And unless states control. And that's why the Chinese Communist Party is the only hope for a country like China. Because it has to control this. See, the Chinese, uh, Chinese government can shut down Alibaba tomorrow. And nobody in Alibaba will raise a voice. They know the rules. They can shut down various aspects. And countries must have their sovereign right. But if you're as strong as the United States, you can pretend because your sovereign rights are never threatened because you can go and nuke any other country, etc. But others have very important sovereign rights. But now we're seeing in, in, in the US how the internet is beginning to eat into their system. And every time the internet gets stronger, believe me, there's an American trying to screw up Russia and there's a Russian trying to screw up Russia. That's hundreds. And that's the, that's the war. That's the war now. To hack and dismantle, right? Millions of people will be employed in this game, but just at the start. So there's already a war going on? Yes, absolutely. There's a war going on. And it'll only get worse. A war between economic entities, between companies, between nations, between systems. Uh, and this is huge. That's why we have an asymmetric cultural war, which is the, the war between Judeo-Christianity and Islam at the moment, enabled by the internet, and it's just taken off. And we haven't seen anything yet. How, what are we going to do? Uh, there's only political ways of doing it, but as long as the economic realities are not understood and history is not understood, the war will continue to fester. So ISIS is apparently in retreat uh, because the price paid by Syria. An entire civilization, you know, much many parts of a very old civilization uh, destroyed. But the West has never accepted that uh, Iraq would be better off with Saddam. I always say this. Libya would be better off with Gaddafi and Syria is better off with Assad. And you have no right to tell these countries who you want to put in charge and demonize them. Iran has been demonized by the United States for a while, by the entire West. Then the Europeans woke up. But now the United States. How, what arrogance to demonize an entire country. What arrogance to impose economic sanctions on an ancient civilization. Absolutely no rights. Let's get the whole world to democratize everything. Let's get the whole world to vote on sanctions. You will find out there'll be no sanctions because we will not vote for sanctions against others imposed by a minority, which is the West, who, want to, who can therefore only... And the only claim is that they have morality that is superior. We don't have a morality. We're inferior. <laughs>